In the realm of film, few figures endure as timeless symbols of the industry as Alan Bates. What sets him apart, creating an everlasting presence in the collective memory of cinema enthusiasts? Bates, renowned for his compelling performances and nuanced portrayals, leaves an indelible mark on the annals of classic Hollywood. To understand the enduring qualities that make Bates a cinematic icon, one must delve into the fabric of his craft. His ability to seamlessly inhabit diverse roles, infusing each character with authenticity and depth, contributes to the timeless resonance of his work. Bates' performances, marked by a rare blend of subtlety and intensity, transcend the ephemeral nature of trends, resonating across generations. Now, reflecting on cherished memories or personal experiences tied to this classic Hollywood actor invites a stroll down the corridors of cinematic history. As enthusiasts, we find ourselves drawn to narratives of encounters with Bates on and off the screen, each story contributing to the rich tapestry of his legacy. We'd love to hear your anecdotes and reflections in the comments below, adding to the collective appreciation for Alan Bates. Before we embark on this journey of reminiscence, let's set the stage with some random facts about the actor, shedding light on lesser-known facets of his life and career. Engage with the extraordinary journey of Alan Bates, a figure whose enduring qualities make him an everlasting symbol of the industry. Alan Bates, a luminary of the British stage and screen, left an indelible mark on the world of acting with his unparalleled talent and versatility. Born in Derbyshire in 1934, Bates discovered his passion for the dramatic arts at an early age, eventually graduating from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in 1955. Bates' career trajectory was nothing short of meteoric. In 1956, he made his stage debut in Hay Fever and quickly gained acclaim for his nuanced performances. However, it was his role as Cliff Lewis in John Osborne's groundbreaking play Look Back in Anger that catapulted him to stardom, earning him the label of one of the angry young men of British theatre. His portrayal of the disillusioned, working-class character resonated deeply with audiences, marking the beginning of a stellar career. While his impact on the stage was profound, Bates seamlessly transitioned to the silver screen, earning an Academy Award nomination for his role in The Fixer. This was just the beginning of a string of remarkable film performances. Notable among them was his role in the critically acclaimed film Women in Love, where he fearlessly confronted the taboos of the time in a daring nude wrestling scene. Despite his undeniable success, Bates remained dedicated to the stage. He tackled a diverse array of roles, from Shakespearean classics to contemporary works, demonstrating a remarkable ability to adapt to any character. His magnetic stage presence and chameleon-like acting style solidified his status as one of the most respected actors of his generation. In addition to his accolades in the entertainment industry, Bates was a tireless advocate for human rights. His involvement with Amnesty International reflected his commitment to using his influence for positive change. Tragically, Alan Bates passed away in 2003, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors and captivate audiences worldwide. His profound impact on both stage and screen, coupled with his advocacy for social justice, ensures that the name Alan Bates will forever be synonymous with excellence and integrity in the world of acting. On the shortlist for the male lead Arthur Parker in Pennies from Heaven, Bates showcased his versatility in the realm of film. His ability to portray complex characters earned him recognition, and this role exemplifies his consideration for diverse projects. Notably, as an associate member of Rada, Bates maintained a strong connection to his roots in dramatic arts, contributing to the development of aspiring actors. Interestingly, in The Entertainer, despite playing Roger Livesey's grandson on screen, Bates was merely 28 years younger in real life. This incongruity highlights the intricacies of film casting and the skill with which Bates could bridge generational gaps convincingly. These lesser known facets of Alan Bates' career offer a nuanced perspective on his journey in the entertainment industry, adding layers to his legacy as a multifaceted actor. In the early 1970s, Alan Bates took a unique turn in his career by financing a modest film titled Second Best. Adapted from a D.H. Lawrence short story, the film was a small-scale production shot in Derbyshire, featuring only three actors. Notably, Bates played the smallest role, alongside his wife, Victoria Ward, and Annette Widowson. 
The film, initially shown on television, later briefly surfaced on home video in the 1980s. This venture showcased Bates' willingness to explore unconventional projects, underscoring his commitment to the craft beyond mainstream success. During the early 60 seconds, Bates juggled his acting career at the Circle in the Square Theater in New York City with an unexpected side job working for the Padded Wagon Moving Co. This lesser-known chapter in his life reflects his determination to sustain himself in the competitive world of acting, highlighting the challenges faced by many aspiring artists. Tragically, Bates faced personal losses, including the death of his twin son Tristan in 1990 due to an asthma attack in Tokyo. Two years later, his wife, Victoria Ward, also passed away. These heartbreaking events added layers to Bates' life, portraying the human side of the acclaimed actor. In addition to his mainstream success, Bates demonstrated a commitment to supporting smaller projects and contributing to the development of aspiring actors. As an associate member of RADA, he remained connected to his roots in dramatic arts, leaving an impact not just on stage and screen but also on the next generation of performers. This multifaceted journey marked by unconventional film choices, personal challenges, and dedication to the craft defines Alan Bates' legacy as more than just a renowned actor. He was a man of depth, resilience, and a genuine passion for the art of storytelling. Knighted in 2003 for his outstanding contributions to drama, Alan Bates stood as a distinguished figure in the world of acting. This honor, bestowed upon him in the Queen's New Year's Honors list, marked a pinnacle in his career, recognizing his significant impact on the dramatic arts. Bates, known for his versatile talent, faced a pivotal moment when director John Schlesinger personally selected him for the lead role in Sunday Bloody Sunday. Despite his eagerness for the part, commitments to filming the go-between, and the responsibilities of fatherhood compelled him to regretfully decline. The role underwent several changes before landing in the hands of Peter Finch, who earned an Academy Award nomination. His prowess on the stage was equally commendable, earning Bates two Tony Awards for his outstanding performances. In 1973, he secured the Best Actor title for Butley, a role he reprised in the film adaptation released in 1974. Nearly three decades later, in 2002, Bates again clinched the Best Actor Award for Fortune's Fool. From the pinnacle of knighthood to turning down significant film roles and securing prestigious accolades, Bates' journey in the world of acting was indeed multifaceted. His legacy extends beyond the footlights and film sets, encapsulating a man dedicated to his craft and duly recognized for his lasting impact. As the curtains draw to a close, we find ourselves immersed in the timeless legacy of the enigmatic actor Alan Bates. Like a masterful brushstroke on the canvas of cinema, Bates left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, etching his name into the annals of acting greatness. Now, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Take a moment, dear reader, to reflect on the personal tapestry of memories woven by Alan Bates' performances. Perhaps it's the haunting intensity of his characters or the subtle nuances that linger in your mind like a half-remembered dream. Whatever the case, the stage is yours to share your thoughts and favorite moments, a celebration of the profound connection we all share with this cinematic luminary. Bates' brilliance was a tapestry woven with threads of talent, dedication, and a touch of magic. His ability to inhabit diverse roles with an authenticity that transcended the screen set a standard that actors aspire to even today. Now, in this parting scene, we invite you to join the narrative to share your personal chapter in the story of Alan Bates. As we collectively raise the curtain on memories past, we extend our deepest appreciation for your time and interest. Thank you for being part of this tribute to an icon who shaped the very fabric of entertainment. Your reflections add depth to the echoes of performances that continue to resonate through the corridors of time. May your memories of Alan Bates be as vivid as the scenes he brought to life, and may his legacy endure, inspiring generations to come. Until the next act unfolds, thank you for sharing this moment in the grand theater of remembrance. Your voice adds another layer to the symphony of appreciation for a talent like no other.